if we're having a conversation and the woman insists on talking over the guy, he's just going to be like, uh. Well, you I wouldn't say that I talk over a guy every time he's trying to express how he feels. I Do you think you're aware? You. Do you think you're aware? Not all the time. I'm not That's aware. the point. And you don't know that one time that like did it for him where he's like, you know, she don't want to hear what I have to say. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Because I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. Sublime. Alternate universe, Freaky Friday. You wake up tomorrow. <laughs> and you're a man. You're a black man in particular. Uh, what kind of black man would you be? I would be... I don't know. I would just be cool. <laughs> what is cool looking like? I would be... I would want to be educated. Well, I would be educated. And I would be... I don't know. More in touch with my feelings. <laughs> what does that look like? What does in touch with your feelings look like? Because we get that criticism a lot. Like, we're not in touch enough with our feelings. Right. So and what would, what would like, that look like? I don't feel like, like the me? whole world should have to nurture you to be in touch with your feelings. You know, this whole thing is going on about men's mental health. Well, women have been going through things for centuries and we have to deal with it regardless. So I feel like as a human, if you know that you have mental issues, you should get help or do whatever you need to do to deal with that. Like just because you're a man doesn't mean like you decide not to feel feelings or, you know, have emotions and things like that. So who is a man that you feel like? And it could be a celebrity, it could be a movie character that is in touch with their feelings. Because uh, <laughs> if we're going to criticize men, we have to give them something to strive towards. Be more like. I don't know, because I don't know any men celebrities. Like, we don't really know them. We don't know if they are in touch with their feelings. But just based on their I persona. would say maybe... <laughs> I don't know. Um, who do I feel like is in touch with their feelings? I don't know. Maybe, like... I feel like Chris Brown is. <laughs> okay, okay. Let me indulge you for the sake of this. I feel like What he about is. Chris Brown makes you feel like uh, he's in touch with his feelings? He gets it. His music, his art, and his way of expressing himself. What if he's not writing his own songs? <sighs> he's singing it the way he wants to sing it. So it's not about being... And he, a, he has to have some kind of attachment to it. So it's not about being in touch with your feelings. It's about being able to display as if you are. No. Okay, explain. Because that's what I just said. We don't know if they're really in touch with their feelings or not. They could just be pretending. You know? A lot of okay. people pretend. And then a lot of y'all pretend and then go to say, oh, I'm really sad. Well, then you shouldn't have pretended to be... Something you weren't. Do you know why men do that? Why? Because they feel like women aren't ready for our emotions. Why? Because no one is saying that your feelings aren't valid ever. Everybody's saying that. How? To, to be a man. I feel, like you, I feel like men feel like that because we say something about the stuff that we don't like. Like... Men are used to us being quiet. I mean, women have, have been downplayed for a long time now. Like, being told to just be in the house and have kids and cook and clean, and now being told to cook and clean and go to work and pay 50-50 on the bills. And so, I mean, women have to deal with the same thing. <laughs> so you say women have to deal with the same thing as men? No. Okay, so what do as you far mean? as mental issues and mental health, women have mental health issues just as much as men, I feel like. Just because men feel like they can't speak on it 
Well, maybe you need to learn how to speak on it and be more open well, and say how you really feel instead of. But my question to you was, why do men feel that way? Maybe because we talk over them. Like now? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why I mean, else? but that comes from just, I don't know. I guess, I don't know where it comes from. I guess that's just being a woman. <laughs> just always having something to say. So are we creating the environment to encourage men to be what we are penalizing them for not being? So we're no. saying men should be more emotional, but just based on your admission, we don't create an environment for men to be emotional. So how can men do that thing? Why don't men feel like they can be emotional? Like if women don't know what is making you feel like that, how can we ever fix it? Like y'all always say men have mental issues. Men are going through things too. I validate that. Yes. Men go through a lot of things and have a lot of pressures and things that they have to get done that women don't have to worry about. But if you guys are not saying why you can't, why you feel like that, then we won't know. We, I can't pull it out of you and, and make you feel like I know what's going on if I don't. Like, and same vice versa. Like, how can I expect you to understand how I feel if I'm not saying how I feel? Dude. I guess you just I guess we need to make y'all more comfortable with us as much as we feel comfortable with y'all cuz I can if I'm close with whoever I'm with I mean I'm that comfort level I mean that makes it to where you can talk about anything and vent about anything so maybe it's just a comfort thing and if you don't feel comfortable maybe you shouldn't be dealing with that person Do you remember a time in history where men were emotional? Can you think of one time? Um, no, because every time a man is emotional, we get past the emotional part and it's already escalated to like maybe a fight or an argument or something like that. So. And that's my point. We don't need more emotional men because there's never been a time where emotions or being emotional has served men. Men were warriors. Men were builders of industry. Men were scientists. Men were farmers. There wasn't any time to be emotional. So again, I think the problem is women are asking for something that they don't fully understand and they can't fully appreciate or empathize with where men are coming from. Okay. Men aren't like, we're not built like that. And the way that we show and we express emotion is through our thoughts, primarily. But if we're having a conversation and the woman insists on talking over the guy, he's just going to be like, uh. Well, you I wouldn't say me. that I talk over a guy every time he's trying to express how he feels. I Do you think you're aware? You. Do you think you're aware? Not all the time. I'm not That's aware. the point. And you don't know that one time that like did it for him where he's like, you know, she don't want to hear what I have to say. Okay. So maybe just creating an open comfortable environment for you guys would help. <laughs> but like I said, when it gets to that point, you guys will have already cheated or we've already gotten a fight or it's already escalated to a point. Like, I feel like y'all wait too late as well. Like you don't say anything or you don't relay that information in time. Because you were too, I don't know, scared, intimidated. I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't think women are clear on what they want from us. Because if you're too emotional, I don't feel safe. I can't deal with your emotions. Or sometimes you make, the emo you make his emotions about you. Babe, right now I feel insecure. I don't feel like I'm on my purpose, whatever the case may be. And the woman... Whether she says it or not, it's like, am I not doing anything good enough? He, is he thinking about another bitch or whatever the case may be? So men, in order to not, because men are problem solvers. Yes. So why would I put myself in a, in a, in a, in a situation to create a problem? Because we know how y'all work. We have to. But when you say y'all, it's not every woman. Most women. But you can't 
make you make you're making it seem like every single last relationship a man can't say how they really feel. I Most mean, how do marriages last? Like, how do people stay together as long as they do? Like, obviously, some men are. Maybe you need to interview married men I have. <laughs> to figure out why they feel comfortable with who they're they don't with. Either. They don't. Then why either. are they married? I would never be with someone. <laughs> That's the thing, too. You guys force yourself to be with people that you're not compatible with, or you. You feel these things and you just force it. Find someone that you can talk to that you don't feel like. It doesn't work like that. Yes, it does work like that. I'm single. I'm not going to settle for someone that I can't talk to. Like, that's stupid. The reason I say it doesn't work like that is <clears throat> if men are saying to you that most of the women I come across in my life, not even just in a, from a uh, romantic standpoint, most of the women I come across are not good listeners. If I still want to like be a husband, have a wife, I might compromise that. I might say, you know what? I might have to settle in that department. Now, women can't compute because y'all feel like you don't have to settle for anything. But men settle a lot. There's a lot of married men that are miserable. And to that point, that's why... Was it That's 54? why y'all deal with so much. 54, That's dumb. 54% of marriages end in divorce. 80% are initiated by the woman. Yeah. I take it a step further in saying that even though 80% are initiated by the woman, sometimes the men are already checked out. Because again, women don't feel like there's anything wrong with them. And men feel like, well, she doesn't feel like there's anything wrong with her. She can't improve. So I'm going to just bite the bullet. I'm going to just deal with Because men try. They try to do right, quote unquote, by the woman, but a lot of y'all are like unshakable. What about the ones that are not like that, that are shakable? They're few and far between. I w and the thing is, I wish that wasn't the case, but even in my experience, they're few and far between. Most women are terrible listeners, and I interview women all the time. Horrendous listeners. Okay. I could count on one hand how many were good listeners. And that says something because I, I these aren't women I've dealt with on a, on on some level. This the, these are women that, you know, it's been a romantic situation. This is just people I've come across in life, at work, whatever the case may be. I'm finding this is consistent, especially amongst our women, because that's all I interview is black women. Right. 